Hey guys, what's going on? Before the video starts, I just want to give a uh, massive shout out to my boy Carlos Fernandez. Um, and I wanted to send my condolences to him with this video. I actually hit him up on Twitter as well, but I want to send my condolences to him. Um, he lost a family member recently, and uh, it would mean the world to me if you guys would uh, check out his channel. I'll have a link to it in the comments below. Hit him up with some messages, you know, send your prayers to him. Good dude, and you know, at the end of the day, man, life is too short for silly stuff, and I just want to show that, you know, to my boy, man, that, you know, I'm here, we all here, and, you know, just keep your head up, my brother, keep your head up. I actually talked to him a few minutes ago for me recording this video, so, you know, it's all good, but still, I would love for all of you just to, you know, share your, uh, you know, your love and support that you have given me over the course of me being here on YouTube to him. I really do appreciate that. And with that being said, um, thank you for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And just the new attitude that I have towards everything here on YouTube.com regarding everything. Um, just, I'm going to tell it how it is as always. But thank you. Thank you guys so very, very much. You guys be good. Y'all stay blessed. Be easy. And I'll see you guys on the next upload. Deuces. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Ryan the Professional. I am back again with another video. Let's go ahead and get into it. Yes, there is a lot to talk about. Sony just officially flexed on not only Microsoft, but basically Nintendo in a sense. And basically they have shown their hand for E3 this year. And uh, it's pretty wild. Now, a lot of us have speculated what was going to be shown at E3. A lot of us, including myself, have threw out you know, numerous scenarios as to how things might impact the actual show, such as Microsoft not showing off anything that's really competitive. You know, Sony could do what they did at last year's E3 and basically just show you two games and leave and, you know, show most of the stuff in the pre-show. Well, it looks like Sony just like, who cares? We're going to show our full hand at E3 and boy, oh boy, did they already uh, reveal what they're going to show. Now, everybody's already speculating what's going to be at Microsoft's show from Gears of War, from Halo hello and uh, Forza and whatever else they got, right? Nintendo, we're pretty much expected to see the Pokemon reveal. We're expected to see um, a few other things like the Metroid and whatnot, right? But for Sony, this is what they had to say. And this is from the article, so let's go ahead and put that on screen right now. And let's read what they had to say. In a rare break from tradition, we wanted to give you an early glimpse at what to expect heading into the showcase on June 11th. PlayStation's Worldwide Studios will be at E3 in full force to provide you with an exclusive look at four upcoming titles Death Strand from Kojima Productions, Ghost of Tsushima from Sucker Punch, Marvel Spider-Man from Insomniac, and of course The Last of Us Part 2 from Naughty Dog. That's what they had to say on the matter and right there they just released all their bangers are going to be at the show. They just told you all their bangers will be at the show. Most likely the show will start off with Death Stranding. I mean, since they're, they're saying this is what this is going to be at the show, the show is going to open up with Death Stranding gameplay. Um after that, they'll probably show off uh, Ghost of Tsushima in the middle, along with Spider-Man. And, of course, at the end, they'll show The Last of Us Part Two gameplay reveal as well. This is great. This is absolutely great. Now, notice that they didn't really say gameplay in this, but they did say the games would be shown. But, really, I'm pretty sure it would be gameplay. A lot of people might say it might be trailers. I doubt it would be trailers. Ghost of Tsushima is pretty much completed. Um, games like... Uh, Death Stranding are pretty much done. They're in pre-alpha, right? Same thing goes for Spider-Man. Spider-Man is done. It's already being tested. They're getting ready to launch it, so it's done. The game, the game's done. As far as The Last of Us Part Two, that's a good question. We don't know when that game will launch. I highly doubt we'll get a release date at E3 this year for it. But all I know is this is going to be one good show, and I am looking forward to the show. E3 2018 will happen on June 11th at 6 p.m. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. 
I am looking forward to it. This is great. Very, very good for Sony. Um, Wow, and very ballsy of them. That's definitely a first. But this is what happens when you don't have competition, uh, guys. When you don't have competition, well, they get cocky and they do this. I mean, Sony just told you. This is what we're going to have at the show. Since when has Sony ever done that? Never. They were type lipped on stuff. When people go, hmm, can we expect Spyro to be at the C3? What do they do? They showed you T-shirts and other weird stuff and kind of just strayed away, right? They kind of talked around the question. Well, now they're just up front with you. Like, yeah, this is going to be here. That's not going to be here. That will be here next year. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens when you don't have competition. And this right here is really, really good to see. So, Sony, hey, good job, man. Good job. Looking forward to the event. Um... This video is going to be pretty short, though. Not much, I need to say. They pretty much just flexed on Microsoft with this news. Um, if you guys liked the video, hit that like button. If you did not, hit the dislike. I understand. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you are new. And uh, hit the bell icon to stay up to date on everything that I do on the channel. If I sound a little bit more excited and a little bit more energetic because i just given up wanting more for certain things, I have officially stepped up and moved on like a lot of people have told me to do years ago. But you would think, you know, being a gamer who's been around for quite some time, you would think, you know, I can hold out longer, but I just can't. I simply cannot. I'm looking forward to the PlayStation 5. I'm looking forward to what that can offer me in the long run. I already know it's going to offer me some great first party, so I'm definitely going to own a PS5. The Nintendo Switch, most likely will own a Nintendo Switch. Uh, just not now. I don't have the uh, money for it right now. I'm still upgrading a few more things, so that's why. My full attention has been in my rig. It hasn't even been on consoles. I barely be on my PS4 as much as I want to be. You know, I get, I get a few hours in, and I just, you know, I go to sleep. So, but, yeah, that's what's going on. But thank you guys so very, very much for watching the video. I appreciate all of you. And I will see you guys on the next upload. You guys be good. Deuces.